Hello everyone, it's me, Young Wiz. I'm so excited for today's lesson. Today's lesson, our topic is angles. An angle is a figure formed by two rays called the sides of the angle, sharing a common endpoint called the vertex of the angle. Right angle, angle whose measure is 90 degree. Acute angle, angle measure is less than 90 degree. Obtuse angle greater than 90 degree and less than 180. Straight angle measure is 180 degree. And reflects angle more than 180 degree but less than 360 degree. These are the six type of angles you can see. Whenever you get an angle on the straight line, it means it's sum up to 180 degree. You have an example 117 and one is an unknown angle. You will minus 180 from 117 and you will get excess 63 degree. Try solving this angle in the comment section down below. Now let's talk about transversal. Corresponding angles are four pairs of angles that have distinct vertex points lie on the same side of the angles and one is exterior angle and one is interior angle. Now let's talk about alternate angles have four pairs of angles that are distinct vertex points lie on opposite side of the transversal both angles are interior and both angles are exterior. Consecutive interior angles are two pairs of angles that have distinct four points but lie on the same side of the transversal and both are interior angle. These are the three types of angles, alternate interior, exterior, alternate exterior and corresponding angle on the parallel line. While to remember, a line that crosses at least two other angles, if the transversal intersects two parallel lines, the corresponding angles will be same. If two parallel lines are kept by the transversal, then the alternate angles are equal. Your angles are supplementary and sum up to 180 degree. In the next math class, we will learn about solving fractions. So stay, stay tuned for that. See you all in my next video. Subscribe to our channel, like the video, and turn off post notifications. Bye.